welcome back. And let's get ready to talk about my favorite cut buckets. I've spent a long time going through a process of finding out how I can go up on a ladder, cut a ceiling, not have to get down to get a roller, and then go back up, cut the ceiling with a brush. So I came up with a cut bucket initially from Home Depot that I liked a lot and uh, then found out it's just too narrow. So I kept <laughs> pestering Sherwin-Williams to find a cut bucket that was the same principle. I could put a screen in it, I could put a roller in it, I could put a magnet on the top of the side of the cut bucket so I could lay my brush on it that, that was wider than the cut, the, the cut bucket at, that Home Depot sells. And lo and behold, after about a year, they came up with the handy red pail that I use, and it's a great cut bucket. It's wide enough so that you're not getting paint all over the sides of the elbow of your roller. I bring up a mini roller, a hot dog roller. I bring up a cut brush, and I bring the cut bucket up. And in this next video, I'm going to show you ex exactly how I built this cut bucket. And you're gonna find out that when you're going up on a step stool and you've gotta cut a ceiling, or you need to cut around a window trim, the best combination is to use a brush to do your sharp edge cutting along the ceiling, and then go back and roll yourself about a four inch strip all the way around the, the walls and all the way around the ceiling with the hot dog roller and and you'll the beauty is is it matches when you start rolling the walls it will match the consistency of the roller marks there's nothing worse than I think is when you when you see this they cut lines up on the ceiling and these a lot of painters are too lazy to put two coats on like you're supposed to because the first the first coat you put on with a brush it's going to show it's going to show the brush marks so you put another one on to level it out but when you put the first coat on just a small little maybe an inch with a cut brush and then go back and roll over it to give yourself the four inch border when you roll the wall, you won't see the cut marks. And I think that that's the way to go. So enjoy the next video, okay? It's gonna go right into it from here, so you won't have to stop it. And I thank you very much for watching. And I'll look forward to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Okay, so let me give you a quick tutorial on this cut bucket. I've showed it to you in the past. This is my bucket. This is the hot dog roller, okay, with my Colossus um, roller sleeve, the Worcester grid. And I like this Worcester grid because it's very stiff. It's not the cheap ones. I'm sorry to say Sherwin-Williams has those red cheap ones and so does Home Depot and they're crummy. I, I buy these because they're solid. Okay, I've got up here, I've showed you the clip, the magnetic clip that I use, and that's where my paintbrush goes. I don't put it here, even though you think, oh, well, that's cool. Wait till you start rolling in here, and then what happens is that it falls into the bucket, and now you gotta go take it out and clean it, and it's in the way as well, going like this, because you gotta be very careful. So it goes up here to me, it's out of the way, I can, roll and it works out great so in this lesson i want to show you something about rolling when you roll especially if you're using the wister cut bucket this is the sherwin williams one and the reason i like it is it's wider if i use the the uh pelican bucket from uh home depot you can get in it wister makes it the width of the pail is just about the width of this roller so when you roll into the pelican what happens is this side hits the side of, of the cut bucket and ends up getting paint all over the elbow of the roller 
and it drives me nuts because a lot of times I use this as a guide when I'm rolling and I don't want paint on it. So in any event, what you want to do is when you're rolling this, don't roll it straight in because you're apt to roll it like this and dip this side into the paint. That's not where you want the paint. You want the paint on this side. You want the paint here because this is what's going into the corner. You see it? The nap wraps around. Now this one's pretty worn, especially when you drop it. <laughs> so the nap wraps around and when you're rolling it in, it rolls not only here, but it cuts this corner for you. So that's why I love these rollers. So, so I don't want to get any paint on this end. I want all the paint on this end. So when you roll it, make sure that you roll it on an angle. That's the trick of using the roller and the cup bucket setup. Roll it this way. And as you're rolling it, you'll see I'm kind of dragging it, which is getting the excess paint off of the roller and just leaving an ample amount from here over to here because that's where I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to cut a corner. And in this case, I'm going to do this, the ceiling. So that will be in the second video. Thanks for watching.